I was told uh, by our marketing ladies that uh, I need at least one slide. So, uh, <laughs> uh, work at Consistors, I think, yes. Um, Czechy Bovazic, as you can read, of course. Uh, my, uh, yeah, what I do at Consistor, Chief Relaxing Officer, it's one of the main part of my job, and then a uh, full stack developer. But currently not in a JavaScript project, which is bad. Me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from time to time, I do this, um, yeah, bug fixing for Angular, Angular 1. Point whatever, and uh, now I try to switch to 2. Point whatever, and it's hard because you have to go in the dark, which is dead technology. And uh, yeah, I can change diapers fast. <laughs> 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 Uh, there will be no, no slides for me anymore. Uh, that's it in this life. Uh, you, down you have a link to GitHub uh, repo. This uh, yeah, example that I want to show. I mean, it's uh, more than I can uh, show in 10 minutes or how much do I have now? Eight or whatever. Uh, so it's a bit more, and if you have a question, ask. Maybe I'll be able to answer. Well, let's see this, uh, what's going on. Uh, yeah, because I, um, I learn, uh, currently learn, I learn uh, ECMAScript 6, which is not available yet in any browser. I can show you what's the, what's the current state of this. Probably know this uh, page. And as you can see, it's uh, red. <laughs> it's even worse, yeah, look at this uh, Internet Explorer, uh, <laughs> it's a crazy world. So, yeah, ECMAScript uh, script 6 is not there yet, but it will be eventually. So I thought, okay, let's uh, let's see how it works. I like, uh, I don't know, I like stuff like modules from ES6. I like classes because I come from Java world, so it's uh, familiar. And, uh, okay, so I was trying to see is there any way to to do Angular serious development with ECMAScript 6 today? I mean, it's like ECMAScript uh, 6 is, uh, I don't know, it's uh, there, it's present, it's like teenage sex. Everybody talk about it, but nobody, nobody, nobody does it. <laughs> Show me the example. Yeah. So I tried, okay, is it that hard? Yeah? Could it be, can you do it? Yeah? And uh, okay, uh, the first thing was uh, to, to ask for uh, help. Yeah. Uh, okay, first thing is to ask Google, of course, as always. And the uh, thing was, uh, there are so many tools that uh, transpile, polyfy, that do all kind of stuff. Yeah? Uh, there's Browserify, there's Webpack, there's, I don't know, many, many tools. And I tried a few of them and failed. Last one was the webpack you asked already, and the, yeah, I failed. I don't know how, why. I, mean, I never fail, yeah, of course. <laughs> so this time I failed and uh, I was like frustrated. And then, I don't know, somehow by chatting with some uh, Angular contributors, I was uh, pointed to this uh, funny little tool, which does really <laughs> good job. I mean, even I could understand it, and that's. That means something, yeah. Uh, so it's JSPM. It stands for JavaScript Package Manager. It's uh, like a nice handy tool that does all the things that uh, NPM does, and a bit more for browser. And that's what, what I'm interested in. I mean, not uh, no development. It's uh, Angular browser. So what does this thing do actually? Is a uh, package management, which is okay. Uh, but that's uh, it based on a two other tools. It's all written by one guy, uh, and his name is Guy, and Guy Bedford. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it's based on uh, ES6 module loader. It's sort of like a polyfill for uh, ECMAScript uh, 6 uh, modules that will come eventually this, in this slide, I hope. Uh, and another tool is uh, System.js. It's uh, also a kind of wrapper. That, that understands uh, AMD, CommonJS, uh, ECMAScript 6, like everything. It's like almighty uh, module loader. And so I thought, okay, let's, let's try this. Let's see if this is uh, 
tool that works or it's another uh, bullshit whatever, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, okay, uh, I tried that. It's uh, now easy, easy to, to handle. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some live coding and please excuse me, I'm not speed coder. I mean, I can change diapers fast, but coding is uh, easy going, yeah? So I hope uh, someone will not kill me. <laughs> Maybe I'll do need more than 10 minutes. That's OK. Um, yeah. So let's uh, yeah, do some live coding. Uh, first, what you need is uh, okay, Node NPM, it's, yeah, of course, obvious. And uh, this uh, JSPM tool. And uh, I already installed it, but uh, you can uh, you can always install it uh, like uh, uh, with Node. Like, uh, and Like this, I mean, I already did it, so it's uh, not a big deal. Oh, I have, uh, Let's try with this uh, like a simple thing. So let's try to make a simple uh, application with the uh, JSPM. You will notice uh, it's like a simple tool. You can read about it. I won't explain any much about JSPM. It's a simple tool. You can uh, start a new project from scratch. What I'm gonna do is just take a simple. Default options, blah, 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 whatever. And what this thing does uh, is uh, following. It downloads, uh, first thing what it downloads is uh, system.js. It's the most important thing. It's a module loader and uh, uh, AMDI, CommonJS, and whatever wrapper. Then it gets a uh, ES6 module loader, which does the thing really. Uh, and uh, of course, it works on, on the uh, on default works with the tracer. Tracer is uh, you know it's a transpiler because we don't have a ES6 uh, support in browser. We have to we have to transpile our code in, from ES6 to ES5 in order to work. So when when we have that, we have a, we can start. I mean that's uh, nothing special. What you get is a uh, yeah, package. JSON, yeah, extremely uh, uh, complicated, and uh, my, sorry for my notebook, it's old, he's dying. Uh, and uh, another thing what also uh, really nicely does is uh, it downloads everything it needs in uh, JSPM packages. I mean, you can configure that uh, at the beginning and uh, you can put it everywhere you want. So there's a place where you're gonna put uh, all the dependencies you need. Uh, and as you can see, there is no power. Uh, I don't like power. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs power? <laughs> so, uh, okay, I think we can now start to, to create an application. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, what we need is, of course, uh, this nice file. <coughs> And what else do I need is a uh, kind of server. Uh, I have my live server stuff. It's a s some cheap server that uh, does nothing but uh, serving files. No compile, no nothing. It's just 
just a stupid thing. <laughs> so you should see it works. It's a uh, you can uh, do uh, live reloading. Yeah, it works as well. So okay. Uh, now back to uh, Angular and ES6. As you can see, we, we start from scratch, nothing there. So how we do that? How does this thing work? I mean, you can start with, uh, let's start with the first uh, app. With the files, we need an uh, entry point. Uh, there we go. And uh, what we first need is uh, Angular, of course. So let's tell a, a JSPM to get it. We need it somehow. Yeah? That's very uh, simple. We just say JSPM uh, install for me Angular in version, I don't know, 1.3.8 or whatever. And he'll do that. Because uh, what this thing uh, really doing in, uh, in background, it goes to GitHub. Or you can configure it to, to, to pull the files from uh, NPM as well. It uh, handles everything. Pulls the file, stores it in, uh, in our JSPM package. Just there you have it. Then you can, uh, you can use it. Yeah. So far. OK. So uh, how to import it? How to start an application? It's also simple. You just say import Angular. <coughs> from uh, yeah, Angular. And what's this uh, second Angular? It's uh, pretty simple. It's a module definition. It's done by uh, by JSPM. As you can see, there is already Angular. It's already registered in a, and uh, in the background. You can recognize this acquire that comes from Common JS. I mean, you know this uh, syntax. Huh? But you don't have to handle it, you don't have to take care of it. It's all done by the, by the school. And now you can, uh, I don't know, you can start uh, writing your application. Let's uh, start something. Let's uh, create a module called, uh, I don't know, talk. We have a talk. And uh, for now, uh, zero dependencies. We don't need any. Uh, now it's easy to, we have to bootstrap our Angular app. Let's do that as well. I do that always manually. We always have this, uh, do, I, do you need an uh, ng app in you know, an HTML? Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> do it yeah. um, okay. So, it's opinion of the talk, so. <laughs> You can use, uh, of course, it's one I'm going to do now. Is uh, <coughs> using a uh, ECMAScript six file, so there is an arrow function, as you can see. And uh, uh, bootstrap, only a bootstrap document, of course. And uh, under which name would be? And now what I do is. Uh, I export this. It's also a module, so it's everything uh, ECMAScript's module driven. So I just say, okay, I have my application. I'm gonna export it from somewhere. I'm gonna I'm gonna inject it in, in my page. Okay, for now, we, as you can see in browser, you see for first you see nothing. That's nothing happens. It's still not uh, doing anything uh, really useful. But we can start. Uh, coding our application. So let's say uh, for a demo we want to uh, go to GitHub, uh, have a little form, uh, and uh, for some owner and uh, repository we want, want to list, uh, get a list of contributors. That's what we do on daily basis, of course. So uh, yeah, let's uh, just uh, create a new directory called uh, GitHub. There we go. And, uh, start uh, doing some serious business, like uh, we write a service. Yeah. And it's also, um, let's do it in a ES6 uh, 